Hello and welcome to the 18th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, Reflections on Verses from the Book of Proverbs. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page and you will be able to be alerted towards our other YouTube videos, including live streaming of our Sunday morning worship services and our Sunday morning Bible studies, and also a Sunday evening service that is broadcast at 6 p.m. on Sunday evenings, where our pastor, Mark, gives another lesson and gives you some more songs and communion with that. So let me begin, as I always do, with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, we thank you for your loving kindness and the grace that you bestow upon your children. Bless me now that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so what I want to look at are a few verses today. And these ones are in Proverbs chapter 6. And we're going to look at verses 16 to 19. And they read, There are six things which the Lord hates. Yes, seven which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil, a false witness who utters lies, and one who spreads strife among brothers. So we get the message here that those things that are mentioned that the Lord hates, these are things we're not supposed to do. And we have seen this before and know as Christians that these are sins. Uh, look at the Ten Commandments. Many of them can are parallel to these things here. But what I see first in the way this is written is the focus on these body metaphors. Eyes, tongue, hands, heart, feet. It made me think about 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, where Paul says, or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? This is a message we get over and over again in the Bible, and we need it said over and over because of our sinful nature. But how might it sink in with Paul's words? Our bodies came from God. They are his temple. They are not our own. He's telling us not to use them for our own selfish purposes. Eyes are for truly seeing and understanding others as brothers and sisters. Tongues are for spreading truth and communicating with our fellow. Hands are for helping each other, for lending each other a hand, as a popular expression goes. Hearts are for loving one another, not planning against each other. Feet are for walking in the path of Jesus, in the path that God laid out for us. Let's look at Young's literal translation to see these metaphors in a little bit of a different light. These six hath Jehovah hated, yea, seven are abominations to his soul. Eyes high, tongues false, and hands shedding innocent blood. A heart devising thoughts of vanity, feet hasting to run to evil, a false witness who doth breathe out lies, and one sending forth contentions between brethren. I should be looking down, looking on a level with your fellow. Tongues should be giving truth, hands for holding others in care, hearts, not thinking for our own vain desires, but for the gifts we can give others. Feet standing firm from evil. We inhabit God's temple. And our breath, our inspiration should be his truth, not contention with our fellow brethren. Perhaps in seeing this, we can understand that the Holy Spirit within us is God's gifts. God's sacred breath. And let's use our bodies accordingly. I hope these thoughts 
had helped you. I will see you next time.